Welcome along to LS11. The Leeds United playoff dream is over. A 3 0 draw with Norwich was enough to mean that they cannot catch Fulham and the top six. Here to review that and the season as a whole is, uh, as always, is Neil Redford, former Whites head coach, and Andrew Statstall. And boys, Rasty. Yeah, uh, I don't think it was Saturday's game that was a difference. I think it was the form leading up to it. Defeat at Burton, defeat at home to Wolves, and the two defeats were at Reading and Brentford. I think really cost them in the end. Disappointing, but I think the season the whole has been a real success for Leeds United. It's hard to look at it that way, given how close they've mm. got and, and almost stumbled out of the playoffs. But it, it has overall been a good year, hasn't it? It has, yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of good things that's happened. Um, you know, and that and that has been, you know, the acid test to that. If you look at the gates, the number of people that have turned up to watch these, particularly at home, you know, and they've um, turned up in the numbers, and they've been really pleased with what they've seen, and he's done ever so well, Gary, with the team. He has indeed. Um, three 0 down, though, approaching half time at the weekend. They're never given themselves. No, a chance, you, you can't be turning up and trying to overturn a three goal lead, even in front of your home fans. They very nearly did it, but. They just left themselves for too much to do. They've got it back to three all, and I think had they scored that goal, the third goal just before, and they may have got the fourth, but just left themselves too much to do, and it's a shame. But hopefully, plans will be put in place for next season sooner rather than later. And annoyingly, they did get the, one of the results they needed elsewhere as well, so they could have taken it right to the wire. Yeah, I mean, it, it just needed a fast start, and it was exactly the opposite. You know, they started slow leads, and um, there was no tempo to it, and it gave Norwich the, the, the initiative. And they're a good side; they've got good players. Um, but I thought that the second half comeback was so stirring, you know, and it, it just captured everybody's imagination. And you know, it ended with a draw, and perhaps perhaps ended Leeds' this season. But you know, it left I think it left the Leeds supporters with a good taste in the mouth because some real fight there. Yeah, they went down fighting, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, they, it could have been four, five, or even six. Oliver had three or four wonderful chances, and once they got the Chris Wood goal back, you kind of felt the momentum swinging, and they got the second half through Bartley and the equaliser for Hernandez. And they just left a bit of proudness, although disappointed not to make the playoffs. Gave you a real nice taste at the end of the game. It did indeed. Uh, now speculation turns to the takeover. Will Andrea Rebrizani take over the club? It looks increasingly like he's going to do that. Uh, one of his first decisions is going to be whether Gary Monk gets a new deal. It shouldn't even really be a decision for me. Uh, Two-year contract, there you go, Gary. There's your terms, off you go. He's done a wonderful job with Leeds United this season to even get us that close to the playoffs. And he's got to be off a new deal. It'd be balmy not to, and if you don't, you're starting all over again. And that is the worry. I think that's the worry of everyone. I think that might overshadow what's been a good season if they don't get the next bit right. Yeah, I mean, what he's done, Gary, is he's come in and he's put his, his ideas into place and, you know, it's been a successful season. Um, so this season will be looked at as a building block. You know, they've, they've come a long way. Um, but the idea of having a building block is that you build on it. Um, and, and what you don't want to do is, is change too many ideas from the top. You know, the, the consistency needs to be, be there. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the, the new guy coming in, if, if there is the change, that he, he will think that way, to be honest. Uh, and just a word player of the season who would you have gone for uh, Chris Ward I think to get 29 goals on this side at times he's had very little going forward and some of the balls into the box haven't been great and to get 29 goals is superb just hope he can get the 30th on Sunday yeah Redders, would you agree with that yeah Chris Ward I mean it's a, it's a fantastic achievement to, to get 30 goals you know if he does get to 30 but he's, he's near damn enough there anyway um, but I think there's been others as well I think you know Kyle Barley Janssen um, you know Rob Green. I think there's been some great displays this season, and I think that a lot of a lot of the players have got to take good credit. Yeah, they have indeed. One more game to go. It comes at the DW Stadium on Sunday, 12 o'clock kickoff. We'll be there as always, covering the game live on Radio Yorkshire. We're live on air at 11 o'clock. We'll be back next week to pick the bones out of it. Will Gary Monk be confirmed as the manager moving forward? We'll find out. Thanks for watching. At this 11.